What's up? What's up? What's up? Of course, it's me, your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Prime Support. Shoot another awesome video, cause that's what we do. Man, what's up? What's up? What's up? You know at Consumer Prime Support, we review appliances. Today, we're going to focus on the Samsung refrigerator with four door, and it has a flex as well. This portion of the video, we're going to focus on the functions and the features. All right, so let's dive into that real quick. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna start off, of course, you see the refrigerator behind me. Um, stainless steel, you can get it in multiple colors as well. But this portion of the video, we're gonna teach you exactly how to operate the unit, um, how to um, use the unit to your benefit, all the functions, all the features, all the bells, all the whistles, everything that it can do. And of course, we're gonna start off with the UV deodorizer filter on there as well. It says triple and metal cooling. All right, so that's good, the metal cooling is good. Um, it helps the refrigerator cool a lot better, um, a lot more efficiently than the plastic. So they add that to a lot of the new refrigerators now. But we want to dive into the owner's manual a little bit. Of course, you see the LED lights up top. We love that. And of course, you start off with the shelf there. But we're going to go into that a little bit. So let me slide into the owner's manual. Of course, we always use the Home Depot website. You can get it at Lowe's as well. And you can also get it at SearsPartsDirect.com. Just insert your model number once you do that. The owner's manual might pop up. You'll be able to download it as well um, for your records if you happen to need it. All right, so let's dive into this joint. Of course, you got the table of contents. Um, it's a lot of a lot of stuff on this uh, refrigerator, man. So you got safety information, of course. Always, you read the safety instructions, man. It helps you um, understand the appliance. Make sure that you're safe as well. So you want to do that. Uh, to the best of your abilities all right instructions warning notes so we're not going to get into that we're going to scroll all the way down to just be with your boy it's going to be a lot because it also has the installation in here as well so that's a part of that we're going to talk about the refrigerator at a glance it says the actual refrigerator and provided component parts of your refrigerator may differ from the illustration in this model depending on the model and the country all right so you want to keep that in mind you have your type a of course the b um, you have your c so that's one side of the refrigerator door want the other side of the refrigerator door there and then of course you have different components as well so you can see that labeled properly this is just installation again it varies by your model you got type b so you got different ones different ones that you can uh that you can see there as well the one that I think that we have is the Type B. All right, so from looking at it, it looks like the one that we have is Type B. Actually, no, it's Type A. All right, so that's the one that we got, Type A. All right, so that's the one that we got. So the one with everything, you have a water pitcher, water dispenser, fridge door bin, fresh shelf, quick space shelf, crisper, flex crisper, water filter, automatic ice. You got ice cubed and ice bites. You have that freezer door bin, freezer shelf, Freezer drawer, UV deodorizer filter, control panel, fridge, beverage center, showcase door, freezer, and flex zone. All right, and again, it all depends on your model. It says for energy um, efficiency, keep all shelves, drawers, and baskets in their original positions. Um, when closing the door, make sure the vertical hinge section is in the correct position to avoid scratching the other door. Um, also, it says in vertical hinge section is reversed. Put it back into the correct position and then close the door moisture may form at times on a vertical hinge section it says if you close a door forcefully the other door may open it says if your internal or external led lamp is out of order contact samsung service center all right so that's little stuff like that ins installation so we don't need to get into that all right so the first thing that we notice is we're going to talk about the shelves that's on page 61 so we can dive into that a little bit so we can get into this appliance, man. So um, some of these functions and features, they have a lot that we got to get over. So we're just trying to get as much done as possible. So bear with me as we get into this joint. So let's dive into it. It says fridge shelves. It says the appearance of the shelves differ from models. We already talked about that. To remove a shelf, fully open the corresponding door, hold the front of the shelf, and then gently lift up and pull out. Note. It says, do not lift up the shelf fully when removing or reinser reinserting the shelf. The rear wall of the fridge room can be dented. All right, so you want to make sure when you're installing the shelves, you want to make sure they're inserted inside both hooks. That's what supports the shelf. So you can put them in incorrectly. I've done it before, even though I work on this type of stuff. 
Um, I have made that mistake before, so you just want to keep that in mind to make sure that it's inserted properly, because when you put food on it, then it's going to drop and it could break. All right, so that's cool there. It's just to reinsert, hold the shelf at an angle so the front is higher than the back, then insert the top hook into the top shelf notch, then lower the shelf and insert the bottom shelf hook into the bottom shelf notch. All right, caution. All right, this is the tempered glass shelves are heavy. Use caution when removing them. The shelf must be inserted correctly. Do not insert upside down. Glass containers may scratch the surface of glass shelves. All right, so that's another thing that you want to keep in mind to be cautious about having glass on top of glass. Because glass scratch glass. Same thing that you can apply to your cooktop or your stove. All right, so that's what we are there. So let's allow this video to continue to keep rocking and rolling. And like I said, it's an adjustable shelves. Normally you adjust the shelves to make some room. Right, so you can put your, um, your milk cartons or orange juice carton, cartons. Now you have juices that's in bottles that's extremely high. So if you want to put soda bottles and all that stuff, or wine bottles and stuff like that inside of there, you can do that. Gives you enough space and that's one thing that we like. So you can either make it long way or you can shorten it. Whatever is best for you, we like that. Um, like I was stating before, there we go with the shelves and you can see the hooks on this picture hopefully you guys can see that but you can see that you got to make sure that you insert it properly so that it can be steady all right so that's good there so that's the shelves and we like the way the shelves are all right and this is the bottom shelf where you put all your stuff in like some major stuff that you can put at the bottom there you can always adjust the shelves and make them lower or make them higher it's all up to you as well all right so this is where the crispers and everything else and this is just a full view of inside of the refrigerator and that's one of the great things that we try to do is to help you guys see as much as you possibly can when you're dealing with this refrigerator um the inside of it how big it is the capacity give you a full view of how everything looks so that you have an idea what it looks like if you decide that you really like the machine all right of course we got the crisper plus that's one there you have your flex crisper and of course you have express water filter all right so you have that there we'll be able to help you guys with that as well so we're going to dive into that a little bit and this is where the water filter is so we're going to scroll on that it says page 65 on my notes so let's head to that real quick so that we can talk about it all right so this is where the water filter is it says shut off the water supply line open the filter cartridge and it says turn the knob of the filter cartridge counterclockwise nine degrees or one fourth turn the filter cartridge unlocks all right it says pull to remove the cartridge if the water filter is uh, severely contaminated the cartridge may not be easily to be removed all right so i'm going to stop there for a second that's why you want to make sure that you replace your water filter every six months because if you don't it could build up it could be contaminated and then it's going to be difficult for it to come out then you're going to need the whole entire housing to be replaced because you cannot get the filter out and it's going to damage the machine all right so you want to think about that as well it says if that is the case use force to remove the cartridge to prevent water leaks from the filter opening pull the cartridge straight out while removing it all right it says insert a new filter cartridge use only samsung provided or approved filters i know you have after aftermarket filters that you can use as well sometimes you can go to home depot you can go to lowe's you can go to amazon sometimes you can get them in bulk but you want to make sure that it is approved filters either by samsung um because sometimes the aftermarket filters do not work all right so you want to consider that all right turn the cartridge knob the cartridge knob clockwise to lock into place use the filter cartridge cover on the control panel go to more options and then run filter reset all right always want to remember when you're dealing with water filters you want to make sure you get at least three or four cups after you didn't install the new filter so that the sentiments from the old filter can run through the through the machine and that the line can be cleared out so you can get uh, fresh and clean water non-contaminated -con water coming in once you replace the filter and you also want to make sure that you reset the filter as well so that it can remind you constantly every six months to go ahead and replace it all right so that's the benefit of doing that there so that's cool there so that's just a filter just some basic stuff there um, we're going to go into the crisper and all this other stuff as well so when we get to that we'll talk about it some a little bit more all right so that's how the filter is and it's hidden and i like the way it looks with the glass it blends in with the with the crisper drawers and the flex crisper and all that stuff the crisper plus and the and the crisper uh you know what i mean i, I like it 
All right, so you got the LED, LED lights on the side. Again, it's pretty bright as far as the interior of the unit, so we really like that. Um, right now, we're gonna talk about um, some of the features that you can use with the smart things. Of course, you see the Wi-Fi button, you see the QR code. Um, so there's different things that you can use here as well with this particular unit, and we're gonna dive into that. See, I'm changing the different um, settings, soft freeze, um, flex, fridge, auto filter, ice cube. So you can do the auto filter, you can choose the ice cube on, depending on what it is, ice bites, and you got more options as well. So let me go back to that a little bit. All right, so we're gonna dive into this portion of the video. Um, so let me go all the way back up to page 40 so that we can get into a lot of this stuff here, man. So, all right, control panel, this is the operations. Um, of course, the one is the display. This is display the menu, setting, and other information. This is when the display is off, tap any button to wake up the display. Tap or to tap the arrow, greater or less than <laughs> to navigate left or right. Tap the, the circle to confirm your selection. So that's like the enter button. It says tap and hold to enter the AP mode for information. See the smart things um, getting started on section on page 46. So we're going to go into all that as well. All right. So we already showed you guys as far as the fridge. And that's, that's how you change the different fridge temperatures and stuff like that. No, it says the control panel is designed to stay off when the refrigerator is not in use. It only becomes active and lights up when you open the door or tap the buttons. All right, a lot of these joints are energy efficient, less energy, it's like a sleep mode, just like your computer or any smart device that you might have does the same exact thing. All right, it says if the door is left open for five minutes, the internal light will blink for five minutes and turn off. It is, it is, it says it is to alert deaf and hard of hearing users that a door is open. Note that this function is normal. All right, so good added feature there. They're considering a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different issues that we might have um, or disadvantages we might have, and it's trying to help you out with that as well. So we like that. It says when you uh, it says when you change the temperature on the panel, the panel displays the actual temperature inside the refrigerator until the temperature matches the temperature you set. Then the panel displays the new set temperature. Note that it will take time for the refrigerator to reach the new temperature. It is normal. This is during this time you need not to set the temperature again. All right, so if whatever you're gonna set it to, make sure you set it, set it properly, and just give it some time, that's it. Using the control panel, so we already did a lot of this stuff with the different arrows and different symbols that you can use as well all right so you, of course you have your menu description for more information variable settings see the menu description all right and this is where the menu description is so we're going to dive into that as well it says the fridge it says you can set the fridge temperature from 33 degrees to 44 degrees fahrenheit or one degree to a seven degrees celsius or set the power cool function all right so you want to make sure that you do that so in between those two temperatures, I will probably let it sit at the manufacturer setting, which is probably more than likely at least 34. All right. It says power cool speeds. Up. It says power cool speeds up the cooling process at maximum fan speed. The fridge keeps running at full speed for two and a half hours and then returns to the previous temperature. All right. So this is something that you can use. I've seen this on a lot of the appliances. They've been had this for a minute. Um, especially on Samsung, they have it on LG. Now they got it on KitchenAid. So this technology been out for a while where you can actually do a speed cool that allows your refrigerator to cool a lot more faster because of the speed of the fan. All right, so that will help as well. Um, freezer says you can set the freezer temperature from a negative um, eight degrees to five degrees Fahrenheit, negative 23 um, to a negative 15 Celsius, right? Um, or set the power freeze function. It says power freeze speeds up the freezing process at maximum fan speed. The freezer keeps running at full speed for 50 hours and then return to the previous temperature to freeze large amounts of food. Active power freeze for, it says activate power freeze for at least 20 hours before putting food in the freezer. All right, so this is something that you can use when you really just purchase it, just activate it. So by the time you put everything in, it's extremely cold. All right, so that's good. Good to know there. Uh, 50 hours is a long time to be at a, at, at a power freeze, but it is capable of doing it, all right? So if you wanna do that, it is fine. Of course, we have the flex zone. 
All right, so I don't really want to get into the flex zone until I actually get to that particular part in the video. So I'm going to let that sit for a second. All right, so we're going to let everything else rock and roll. We talked about the crisper because we already passed that, so we can dive into this. It says you can set the flex crisper mode from one of the following modes. It says fridge, the temperature set to the same temperature as the fridge, meat slash fish. Select this mode to store meat and fish, fish fresh. I think they probably meant fresh fish, but whatever. It says, we recommend the setting fridge temperature below 37 degrees Fahrenheit, 34 degrees Celsius to store meat and fish fresher in the Flex Crisper. <laughs> all right, I'm going to just read it as it is in the owner's manual. All right, so bear with your boy. All right, it says, no. It says, most meat and fish can be stored in the Flex, fresher, Flex Crisper for three to five days, with some exceptions for certain types. Store them in the freezer if you want to keep it longer than five days. All right, so you can store meat in the Flex Crisper, and that's one of the things that we love with these new refrigerators, giving you so many different options where you can store specific things. Inside of there is almost like its own mini refrigerator separate from your standard refrigerator and your freezer, so that helps as well. If you really want to pre-treat or you want to season your meat and you put it in there or prep it, you can actually put it in there and just keep it cool. So that's pretty cool there, and it doesn't affect anything else in the refrigerator. All right, so we really, 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 really like that. All right, so we talked about that. Um, auto fill pitcher, that's one of the things. It says you can set the auto fill pitcher mode from one of the following modes. On, set to fill your water pitcher automatically. So you have a refrigerator that fills up the pitcher automatically with water. So all you gotta do is just pull it out, pour it, drink it, set it up, and it fills it back up. Awesome there. That is different. Ain't nobody got that right now. And that's standing out on the Samsung joint off to set the turn off the function all right so you can turn the picture on or off it says no you can put tea or fruit into the infuser to make infused tea or water if you want to keep the infused water in its initial concentration turn the auto fill picture function off for more information see the water picture auto fill picture um applicable applicable <laughs> models only section uh on page 52 cubed ice it says you can start or stop making cubed ice um ice bites it says you can start or stop making ice bites all right so we like that there so that's pretty good let's see what else they might have it says more options so let's dive into that it says you can change the settings for the following instructions tap the arrow or the, the less than or greater than or the left or the right to select the menu and then tap uh, the circle to confirm or you enter. It says UV deodorizer filter. It says you can turn the UV deodorizing filter on and off. That's pretty good. Peak demand. It says you can turn the peak demand function on or off. For more information on peak demand, see the smart grid functions. So we're going to get into that or demand response um, section on page 48. Filter reset. This is something that we talked about here. So it's in the more options portion. So you have to um, select that. It says when get uh, says when you get the filter replacement message on display, select this menu and replace the filter according to the on-screen instructions. Temperature unit. So you can set the temperature scale to Celsius or Fahrenheit. Door alarm. It says you can turn on or off the door alarm. Wi-Fi connect and if we remember this is a smart appliance depending on the model that you have as you can see there It says you can turn on and off the Wi-Fi connect turn it on to control and monitor your refrigerator on the smart things app All right, so you want to be able to use that as well um, so Using the power cool or power freeze increases power consumption so you want to be able to uh, Remember that as it as you use these special features Operations, activating, deactivating the Sabbath mode. So you do have that feature there. All right, Sabbath mode stays active for 84 hours. Um, once it is activated, after that, it will be deactivated automatically. To activate or deactivate the Sabbath mode, so it tells you specifically how to do that. We don't really have to go into that because, again, this is something that you can see and you can do yourself. All right. Um, it says when the refrigerator is in Sabbath mode, the buttons display and internal lights do not function the refrigerator and freezer however continue to cool all right cool there notes 
It says if the refrigerator powers off and restarts, for example, if there is a power failure, the Sabbath mode remains active. To end Sabbath mode, you must deactivate de deactivate it as instructed above. All right, so you can activate and deactivate it. Activating or de deactivating the cool. All right, so that's another thing there. It says to activate or deactivate the cooling of, uh, let me get into that, the cooling mode, off mode, also called the shop mode. It's designed for retailers to display refrigerator on a retail floor. All right, so that's what that is for. It says if the cooling off mode, the refrigerator fan motor and lights operate manually, but the compressor do not run. So neither the refrigerator nor the freezer becomes cold. All right, so you can do that. So you want to watch out for that as well. All right, so here's the smart things. This is where you communicate with the app. It says visit the Google Play Store, Galaxy Apps, Apple App Store, and search for Smart Things. Download and install the Smart Things app provided by Samsung. All right. Note the Smart Things app is not available for some tablet and iPad and some smartphone. Support that Android OS six or or higher. Minimum two gigabytes RAM size. Support the iOS ten or higher. iPhone six or higher. I don't know who still got an iPhone 6, but I guess it is what it is. All right, so for improved performances, the SmartThings app is subject to change without notice or discontinued support according to the manufacturer's policy. In addition, further updates on the app or the function in the app may stop due to usability and security reasons, even if updates are currently supported on your OS. All right, so you want to think about that as well. Uh, recommended recommended in, um, in, uh, encryption systems include WPA, TKIP, um, and WA2, WPA2, AES, any newer or non-standard Wi-Fi authentication, authentication protocols are not supported. All right, so this is the stuff that you can actually look at to get into that, all that smart stuff. All right, and of course, you got a Samsung account. You can get started, how to download it. We don't have to really go into that. Refrigerator app, it says integrated control. It says you can monitor and control your refrigerator at home or and on the go. All right, it says tap the refrigerator icon on the SmartThings dashboard or tap the device icon at the bottom of the, dash, the dashboard and then tap the refrigerator card to open the refrigerator page. Check the operation status of notifications related to your refrigerator, then change options or settings if necessary. All right, so again, you can monitor it at home or on the go. It's one of the benefits of using these appliances. Um, they're smart enough to be able to do that, but you also want to be careful, um, again, with um, security. You want to be careful with um, identity theft and all the stuff that we got in, in, a, in a lot of these apps and in our refrigerator, in our homes, especially if your refrigerator has cameras on it. You want to be over, you want to be super careful with that. Also, you want to be careful where it's stored at because you got to remember if you got to connect it to Wi-Fi, you got to have a strong, uh, strong signal in order to operate a lot of these stuff as well. So keep that in mind. It says some options or settings of the refrigerator may not be available for remote control. All right. Monitoring. All right, so these are some of the things you can do. It says fridge temperature, display the desired temperature setting for the fridge. All right, um, freezer temperature, flex zone settings. It says display the settings of the flex zone. Diagnostics, detects abnormal operations of the refrigerator. Energy monitoring, this is another one. It says checks the accumulated power consumption for the refrigerator for the last 180 days. So you can check that stuff. Ice making, it says you can turn the ice making function on and off and check the current status of the function from your phone. Jesus Christ. Power cool, it says you can turn power on or off and check the current settings. Power freeze, fridge temperature, freezer temperature, flex zone settings, it says you can set the desired flex zone mode. Ah, Sabbath mode, you can activate and deactivate the Sabbath mode. Abnormal high temperature. So when you're talking about the alarms, door opening, auto fill picture overflowing. If the auto uh, fill picture functions, senses an overflow, it triggers its alarm to let you know the status of the overflow. Water filter replacement. You're talking about monitoring, functions, alarms. Man, dude, this is way too much. Smart grid, smart grid functions. Right, this is when the refrigerator operates in smart grid or demand response mode. The energy manager refrigerator functions can control energy usage or delay the operations of some functions to save money. 
when energy prices or demand are the highest. All right, they're getting smarter with that. That might be able to save you a couple of dollars, you know what I'm saying? Note, it says you can deactivate the smart grid function at any time using the peak demand off function. To use the smart grid function, you need a separate contract with your electricity utility company. All right, so when you get into all that, this is a, a little bit beyond what we're willing to do. Again, this is something that you can add using the smart grid demand response functions. All this stuff is in the owner's manual. Man, uh, good luck with that, man. That's a lot of stuff. Peak hours, turning on and off the peak demands and stuff like that. It says peak demand off when you want the refrigerator to ignore the smart grid signal from the utility company. You can turn off the peak demand function. All right, so you can do that. Um, operations using the energy management functions. Energy management function enables you to control and monitor your energy management refrigerator using the smart things app for your convenience all right so we talked about that note to use the energy management refrigerator functions you have to install the corresponding app first all right operational status check you can check the dr and peak demand status energy consumption we already talked about a lot of the stuff shows the accumulated power consumption power consumption data is updated every 10 minutes all right so these are some stuff that you want to use here notes i like using a little bit of the notes the energy consumption report may differ from the power consumption specifications of the product depending on the operating environment and the stored food all right so man that's a lot of stuff there as well all right so we're going to let this joint sit and again if you want to look at it you can check it out check out the owner's manual as well as we continue to dissect this joint all right all right so we're going to dive into the rest of the video man and see what we got again we're going to allow you to see that different settings that you can press you can open up we love that function love that feature that you have there as well um different ice ice mode again this is the refrigerator just a couple maintenance stuff that we can check the shelf so we're going to dive into that a little bit ah, i don't want to go too far let me go back some come on come on all right so we was just about right there all right so let's dive into this joint real quick All right, maintenance bins, door bins. So there's a couple stuff you can do to remove the door bin, hold the front sides of the bin, then gently lift up to remove. To reinsert or insert the door bin slightly above its final location, making sure that the, the, that the back of the bin is against the door. Hold the rear of the door bin with both hands and then press down so that it fits snugly. All right, caution, do not remove a bin that is filled with food. Again, you wanna be careful with the amount of stuff that's inside these bins. It makes them heavier, they're plastic, they break. So you wanna keep that in mind, the heavier that they are, they weigh down on the door as well. They can allow the door to be out of line, out of alignment. All right, so you wanna think about that as well. So use the caution when opening the door if the bottom bin contains large bottles may, which may fall over, all right? Do not allow children to play with bins. Sharp corners of the bin may cause injury. All right, so this is where we have the crisper and the flex crisper. We already talked about a lot of the stuff here. So gently lift up front of the drawer and slide out. We recommend that you remove the door bins before removing the drawer that is to prevent damage to the door bins. To reinsert, insert the drawer into the frame rails and then slide inward. All right, so we're gonna dive back into the video, man. Let this joint rock for a bit. Of course, you can see the bin and we're going to dive into the door. This is where your mullion is. All right. So you want to make sure that's operating back and forth properly. You want to make sure that you're closing that and it operates and closes with the door. If not, that will cause some issues there. But you want to make sure that you um, um, continue to do your best to make sure that closes at all times. All right. Because that's where air comes in, creates moisture. If your temperature, if your door is not closed all the way, it's going to affect the temperature. All right. All right, open the door, see the beverage center. All right, so this is where you open the door at, your beverage center. That's the latch there that you can use to open that, just to open the front portion of it, not the whole entire door. All right, so if you wanna do that, we really like that. That's really slick. Um, of, of course, this is just your beverage center where you can actually, um, it says water two ways. You can get it from the pitcher or you can get it from your traditional dispenser. And remember, you can set it to automatic fill. 
and it fills it up automatically so you have a full pitcher of water i think that is really good man that would allow you to keep drinking water because we know we need to drink as much water as possible especially when you're shooting long videos <laughs> then of course you got the dispenser there as well all right so this is the opposite side of the door um of course this is the door bins want to make sure that you don't overfill them again don't put a lot of stuff in it it makes it extremely heavy weighs down on the door and this is the lower portion of the door right here this is where you can have your freezer on the left side where your ice is again you can get cubed iced or ice bin all right so that's one of the things there um i totally forgot to dive into the picture a little bit so i'm gonna go back um because i'm looking at my notes and i forgot so i can actually stop here at the picture and dive into that real quick so let's see let's get some information on the picture then we're going to go into the ice maker all right because there's a lot of information on the picture all right so it's a special fe uh, features water pitcher auto pitcher fill um cold purified water is always ready in the auto auto fill pitcher you can put tea or fruits in the infuser to enjoy the various infused water you like all right so you can see that we talked about that earlier grass and handle groove of the lid and then pull up to the open lid all right it says put leaves or leaves or tea to your taste into the infuser all right so that's pretty cool note if you want to keep the infuser water in its initial concentration turn the auto fill pitcher function off all right so that's cool there it says enable the auto fill um, pitcher function on the control panel open the beverage center door type a or the left door of the fridge type b all right and then mount the water pitcher on the holder push it straight as is shown in the figure all right so you got type a and type b um there's for the pitcher make sure the water pitcher fits in the water pitcher holder close the door the water pitcher will start to fill with chilled water a short time later all right so that's where we are there if you want water if you want tea if you want to put fruits in there to give you like a, a nice uh, watery taste or juice taste or whatever that's pretty nice all right caution to um says we recommend consuming fruit infused water within 24 hours after that the infused water can spoil over time all right it says you can clean the water pitcher after you have consumed the infused water also clean the water pitcher if you haven't used it for a long time to prevent the water pitcher from tripping from tipping over or leaking make sure the water pitcher fits in the water pitcher holder all right to prevent the water pitcher from spilling over or leaking make sure the infuser holder is properly inserted all right note if the front side specially marked specially marked error of the water pitcher has too much moisture the water pitcher may not fully fill remove the moisture and then try again auto fill pitcher function will stop supplying water to the water pitcher if the water pitcher does not fill after a certain amount of time if this happens check if the water line is properly connected remove and insert the water pitcher and then try again all right so a lot of stuff note here we go wipe around the water pitcher holder if the water pitcher overflows or leaks water drops off and the rubber cap is open it says an alert message appears on the control panel if there is a leak that's pretty good in case of a leak open the rubber cap so that so that the leak so that the leaked water drains if the alert message does not disappear after draining there might be a system failure contact local samsung service provider all right so it's smart enough to let you know when it's leaking which is pretty good much needed there and of course you want to make sure that you um clean the rubber cap so it doesn't leak water on the drain stuff like that all right so that's pretty cool water dispenser all right so this is for a certain model so this is your traditional dispenser to dispense chill water open the beverage center and press the dispenser lever lever um no the dispenser will not stop dispensing if you keep pushing the dispenser lever for about one minute to dispense more water release and push the lever again make sure the glass is in line with the dispenser to prevent dispense water from spilling out if you do not use the water dispenser for two to three days the dispense water may have an abnormal smell or taste this is not a system failure discard the first one or two glasses of water all right another thing water clouding 
It says water supply to the refrigerator flows through a core alkaline filter. During this filtering process, the water pressure of the water increases and the water becomes saturated with oxy oxygen and nitrogen. This causes the water to look misty or cloudy temporarily when dispensed. This is normal and the water will look clear after a few seconds. All right, so we just had to get that in there. All right, so that's everything there. We're going to let the video roll because we just going to go into the ice maker portion of the joint. And once we're doing that, man, we like I said, the functions and features on here is pretty awesome. Everything that you can actually do. There's a lot going on with this refrigerator, man. So when you spend your money on this thing, you're getting a lot. All right, that's one of the things about Samsung. Samsung's that make them so unique. They're coming up with a lot of these different ideas um, to be able to help you um, help your refrigerator basically help you to basically do everything so you ain't got to do much all right so of course we got um your cubed ice and ice bits it says for a long lasting chill to chill your drink faster ice bites is that yeah i think it's bites all right so here we are now ice maker it says the refrigerator has a built-in ice maker that automatically dispenses ice great the overall design and or accessory may differ with the model. This product has two types of ice makers. It says ice making. This is after you have installed your refrigerator and plugged it in. Follow these instructions to ensure proper ice making and to keep the ice bucket full of ice. It says for first time use, let the ice maker make ice for one to two days. Discard the first one to two buckets of ice to remove impurities in the water supply system cool all right so you have that there um diagnostics this is the overall design and or accessory may differ with the model if ice does not dispense first check the status of ice making using the test button on the bottom of the ice maker press the test button on the bottom of the ice maker you will hear a chime ding dong when you press the button you will hear another chime if the ice maker is operating properly man that's pretty good it says ice accumulating on one side of the tray is normal all right arrange the ice evenly in the tray to store more ice all right so good to know there um caution leaving the water line disconnected may cause the water valve to produce a buzzing sound over time if this is the case make sure you turn the ice making function um off it says if the ice maker chime rings repeatedly contact water Contact the water line installer or a local Samsung service provider, which is a plumber. Do not put food in the ice bucket. The freezing, this is the frozen food may damage the ice maker, especially when you open or close the door. All right, so just a couple things that you got to consider. Again, we're going to leave it on the screen. You'll be able to read it. We don't have to read exactly everything that you see there. Um, but this is just a portion of the ice maker there as well. Um, handling and care ice bucket. All right, so that's something that you can do as well. It says you do not, if you do not dispense ice for an extended period, ice may form clumps inside the bucket. If this is hap if this happens, remove and empty the ice bucket. All right, so cool there. All right, so we can actually go back to the actual video, and this is the inside of the freezer. There, you can see that one says ice cube, and one says ice bites. All right. All right, so you can see that, pull it out, then you get a little, the ice tray, um, the dump, the scooper there, you got the scooper there as well. You can put some stuff inside of there, just some small stuff, it's not really much that you can really put it in there. And that's one of the things you're going to consider when you get this refrigerator. So you can actually turn the flex zone into a freezer or a refrigerator as well, so that gives you more space if you want to put more stuff in there. Um, but that's the only difference is that it's really limited depending on... Um, what side of it you're using because I know more most people have a lot more stuff built up inside of their freezers <laughs> Than that so that might be a problem for some and that's the difference So now this is the flex zone here of course the flex zone that you can flex into so I'm gonna go back To the beginning portion when we discussed it about the flex zone According to my notes that's on page 41 so we are gonna get into that flex zone it says you can set the flex zone mode from one of the following modes. All right, freezer. The temperature sets to the same temperature as the freezer. Soft freeze. 
All right, the temperature sets to 23 degrees Fahrenheit or negative uh, 5 Celsius. Meat slash fish, the temperature sets to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Fruit and vegetables, temperature set to 36. Beverage, the temperature sets to 39. All right, caution. Select the flex zone mode according to the type of food you store in there. It says do not store meat or food in the flex zone with the fruit, veggies, or wine mode. Meat or food may spoil. And it says do not store glass bottles in the flex zone in freeze or soft freeze mode. They may break and cause physical injury. All right, so that's mostly it. Um, the flex zone there as well. Um, I think that's everything that we went over on this machine. Um, just bear with me as I scroll through this joint, man, to see if there's anything that we can find um, to help you guys out. Because we just want to make sure that we talked about everything inside of the owner's manual um, that be able to help you with this um, refrigerator here. Um, we talk about a little bit of the maintenance and stuff like that. Cleaning the stuff out, you want to be able to do that. All right, so maintenance, auto fill, all this is in the owner's manual as well. How to clean the picture, all that stuff. Um, shells, we talked about all that stuff. Different bins and all that stuff as well. We talked about all that. Cleaning, um, you can clean um, the dispenser cock. Hold the end of the dispenser cock. This is while turning the dispenser cock left. Pull it down to remove it from the dispenser. It says clean the dispenser cock thoroughly and then assemble it back. All right, so that's basically what that is there. Fully insert the dispenser cock so it is back to the, its original position. Do not use scrub with rough texture for cleaning the dispenser cock. All right, so um, you have in the back where you can actually clean rubber seals. You can also clear the clean the rear panel. All right, that's where your condenser is, where your fan is. If you again, if you have a lot of pets or animals. Um, or the refrigerator been pushed back for a long period of time, develop a lot of dust and lint. So you want to make sure you clean the coils. You want to clean that as much as often as you can as well. All right. So I think that's basically everything, man. Maintenance tips, notes, all that stuff you can get into. Um, LED lights. It says to replace the lamps of the refrigerated contact Samsung because they might not be as easy. Door panel. You can set the door panel you prefer for your bespoke refrigerator purchase the door panel at samsung retail store and honor an authorized dealer with install the panel for you and all that stuff there and of course you have troubleshooting tips if you have any issues go into the troubleshooting tips before you call samsung or call anyone to make sure if you're having any of these issues they'll be able to help you out all right ice not dispensing making ice water does not dispense everything is in here so there's a couple things that you can check all right so we're going to let the video roll, man. Of course, it's me, your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Pond Support, man. This is the functions and the features. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. You already know, man. It's me. You help me. I help you. We both help each other. You already know what time it is. Till next time, man. I am out of here, man. We're going to let this joint roll. Check this video out. Peace.